Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Minka by John Renault in the color 1426. started. Minka is a great length. It is past my shoulders. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's layered. It's got great movement. And it's a synthetic wig. It's kind of comb and go. I, it doesn't really clump. The only thing about straight wigs that I've noticed is I always tuck a comb in my purse because they do start to look a little stringy. A quick comb out and it's right back to the soft, fluffy, <laughs> voluminous wig that you want. That just looks feminine. I feel like such a lady when I put Minka on. And the style is just, like you can comb it to where it goes like it's face framing or you comb it back and it's got this great away from the face style. Let's talk about the cap. Minka has a beautiful lace front, has a mono top. It has the great um, ex velvet covered ear tabs with metal stays, velvet covered extended nape, and those Velcro adjusters. It's a really comfortable cap. And then otherwise it's open wefted. My very first John Renault wig was Kristen, and it fit a little snug, but it was one of my first five wigs, so I, I wasn't really sure how a wig should feel, and so I didn't think very much of it. Then I got Mila, and Mila is snug, but Mila fits perfect. I don't have to wear a wig grip or it stays actually. Today I have it stays on. And as I um, I put me I put Minka on and I thought I wanted to be able to grab on to the hair fibers and and show you guys that you can part it wherever you want to. In order to do that, I do have to have a wig grip on, but if I wear a wig grip with this mono top, that John Renault's mono top anyway, the wig grip will show. And I have that light tan wig grip, but it still will show. This is a situation where I wear it stays. And I just roll, I do it right at my hairline, just like three or four swipes across that hairline. Let it sit pretty much by the time I like wash my hands and put the lid back on. It's dried a little bit to where it's just tacky. And then I just pop that wig on, press it into that. It stays and it's perfect. Then I can grab this wig, grab the hair, flip it from side to side. It's not going anywhere. The measurements on Minka. The bang is seven inches. The crown is 11 inches. The nape is 8.75 and the sides are 11 inches. Minka weighs four ounces. So I feel like that's kind of an average weight. As I've reviewed wigs, you know, over the past year, I feel like four ounces is about an average weight for a wig. It's comfortable, it doesn't feel heavy, it feels light. It just kind of goes away after 30 minutes or so. Don't even think about it being on my head. The color I chose 
1426. I also have Mila in 1426. And if you go back and watch that review, it looks too blonde for me. It looks ashy. And so I was real hesitant. I purchased, this is another one I purchased from Leanne during one of her Facebook lives. <laughs> And it looked more red on the screen, I will admit. And when she said 1426, I was like, oh man, I don't know if I can wear that. But it was a good price, so I went ahead and got it. And I'm glad I did, because this is more strawberry than my uh, Mila is. <laughs> Mila Minka. 14, it is, it says medium ash blonde. Um, when you go to the John Renault site and then 26 it says medium red golden blonde this one just leans more toward the medium red golden blonde where I think my Mila leans more toward that ash blonde of the color code and you know what I think that just goes with buying wigs every color is a little bit different it just is what it is you can buy the ex I mean I could probably go and buy this exact same wig and it the coloring might be a little bit different. I'm glad I took a chance on this. I love it. Like I said, I, I just feel feminine and, and just ladylike in this. I don't know why, but I love it. I love these layers. I love that it's a mono top and this color is super cute for summer. The hair fibers and permatease for Minka. First of all, no permities. The hair fibers are just soft and silky. I will say mine came with some kind of short pieces right here. I don't know if that was on purpose or what the deal was. They will probably end up getting plucked out as they bother me. <laughs> just to be honest because especially like when I first put this wig on and I'm messing with it, it'll be like straight out here. And I mean, I just start plucking those suckers out because that will that drives me nuts. I can't stand to have hair like that. But that that would be my only complaint about this wig. The hair fibers are soft and silky. They're light, but they're not fuzzy. Like you're not gonna get besides those little short hairs right there. You're not gonna get a bunch of flyaways all over. And it's a comb and go. I haven't put any product in this. I haven't even used detangler on this wig. I just kind of comb. I comb it out before I put it on, and then. I just kind of fluff it up and comb it a little bit more if I need to, but I love these flippy layers and oh, it's just so pretty. Okay, so I talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and the hair fibers and the permatease. My overall thoughts about Minka is it's darling. It was not even on my radar. I had never even heard of it until I saw Leanne's live. and. Now I want this in strawberry shortcake. It's easy, you just pop it on, comb it out, and it's just, the style on it is so cute. These flippy layers. See that movement? It's so cute. And then um, the mono top, I really like the way John Renault seems to tie in kind of like extra hair up here so you get that volume. I really like that. I believe Cameron is like that because there's no permatease, but like I can feel volume right back here, but I think that's just extra hair fibers tied in. And you can get some volume with this wig, even with no permatease. I mean, especially if I like wanted to put product in it and you know, really work on it you can get some volume. But I, I love how easy it is and just effortless and pretty and you just look put together so quick. Okay guys, so this has been Minka by John Renault in the color 1426. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, do a little chit chat down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have Minka and what you think about wearing her. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.